demons tremble at the name of Jesus. Do you tremble at the name of Jesus? No, I do not because I'm not a demon. Okay. <laughs> another question exactly I mean, look look oh that's a good point they always say do you, do, do you know that demons believe in that demons? we're not demons we're not demons demons can't be saved i hate that stupid response the demons can't be saved that's the difference and they don't trust on jesus christ for salvation they can't be saved number one number two they don't even believe in the gospel they don't trust on christ for salvation what is going on the bible says that Jesus spoke. Beware, I'm a false prophet. You're judging and you out here. And what are you out here for? Because of, you're in the gay area. Okay. The homosexual. Let me go on and say it. The homosexual area. You agree with homosexuality? Saints, get ready for the Pride Month heretics. Pride Month heretics. They're going to be out all over the place. Rup, bro. Making all these videos and condemning all these people saying it can't be saved, living in sin. Even the devil believes, even the devil believes, even the demons believe. You can't be saved, living in sin. <laughs> Get ready for it, saints. They're going to be getting so many views, preaching heresy, not even preaching the true gospel, not even preaching that backloading worse. Get ready for it, saints. It's here, and I'm here for it. I'm here to expose these demons. Yeah, and I'm talking about the actual street preachers who are preaching a false gospel. Got my coffee this morning. Oh, okay, saints, this really grieves my heart. This really grieves my heart. So what you're seeing on the screen, this guy in the red cap, he's in the LGB. I actually believe he's saved. I actually believe he's saved. Man, this is so, this is heartbreaking, yo, because he was saying earlier, which we're probably going to go over, but I just want to give you the context before I start this video. He doesn't know much of the word, but I think he knows enough to be saved. He knows, he understands that it takes belief to be saved, belief in Jesus Christ. And hear what he's saying right here. Where well, all the worldly now. people are. John 16 and 12. Okay, he said John 16 and 12. I actually looked up that scripture and it's not applying to what he's about to say. But the thing is, he just, he just naive. He doesn't know the scripture that he's about to say. But listen to him. Hey, I, hey, brother, I encourage I could tell what he was about to say. He was about to say John 3, 16. That's what he meant. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. That's what he was trying to quote. He didn't know the exact scripture. Bless his heart. But here, this, this breaks my heart, how condemning this man is to somebody who actually understands what it takes to be saved, belief alone. Hear what he's about to say. I encourage you to repent. And change your way. He heard it. He said that he gave. He's actually preaching. He's preaching to the street preacher. He's preaching to the heretic that he gave his only begotten. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Yo, sometimes I got to laugh. Sometimes I got to laugh at the LGB. Yo. It's, it's a wicked lifestyle. Look, it is a wicked lifestyle. However, somebody could be in that lifestyle and be saved because lifestyle doesn't save anybody. Lifestyle doesn't lead anybody to hell. What do we put our faith in? That is what saves us, not how we live. Now, you shouldn't live in the LGB lifestyle. The mortality rate of somebody who's living that lifestyle is a lot higher, a lot higher percentage of dying. And sin can lead to physical death. So I don't recommend it. Definitely not hear me. I definitely don't recommend that lifestyle. It's disgusting and it's gross, but it's still sin and all sin is sin. There are so many sins. So LGB is the only sin that God hates. God hates all sin. This is just one sin that these street preachers, these heretics just focus on so much. And I get it. You know, it's shoved in our face now. I get annoyed by it. The LGB, the, the Pride Month, the rainbow flag is shoved in our face. So I get why street preachers go after the sin. However, they focus on condemning people too much, condemnation, and they don't focus on the actual gospel. They get that wrong. But hear what he's about to say. It's so sickening. You can't be saved and live like the devil every, every day. <sighs> Saints, this is going to be... So last year, Pride Month 2023... I spent more time condemning that sin and calling out just the wickedness in society. That's what I did with the ab prowling situation and the pride flag on the set of The Chosen and the guy who was behind that and the Target. Remember all that stuff, the Target pride uh, fiasco and all that type of stuff. And it's going to happen again and it's sickening. But, but this Pride Month 2024, I'm going to be focusing on calling out these heretics that are just condemning folks. Look at this wicked devil. You can't be living like the devil and be saved. This guy could genuinely be saved. In fact, I think he is. I think he is. And say, you can't be saved and living like the devil. What a wicked, condemning man. I want to let everybody know here tonight, the Bible says that if you believe in 
Jesus, you will be saved. What? No, 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 no. You just totally contradicted yourself. You can't be living like the devil. You can't be saved and living like the devil. Did you catch that? And then the, right the next sentence, the next sentence, does he hear how dumb he sounds? Wait, you just totally contradicted yourself, dude. Can't be saved and live like the devil every day. He every can't day. be saved and live like the devil every day. Then what? What? Turns around. <laughs> I want to let everybody know here tonight. <laughs> the Bible says that if you believe in Jesus, you will be saved. This is what these people do. They have truth and they have lies and they mix the two. It can't get any worse than that, saints. It can't get any worse than that. You can't be saved and live like the devil. I just want to let everybody know all you have to do is believe in Jesus and you'll be... What? You just contradicted yourself. I want to let everyone know here, no matter your condition, no matter how your past may look like, there is, there is no person that is unchangeable when it comes to Jesus. Dude, but you don't know the gospel. Jesus changed my life and he can change your life tonight. These people think a changed life equals salvation. No, not at all. I don't know you, but God knows you. And I want to let you that if tonight you receive Jesus, that void that you have been trying to fill with ungodly relationships. All right, so now I'm going to actually show you the conversation he had with this guy who he straight up condemned. You said Jesus is dead? No, I said he's good. He's amazing. You believe in Jesus? Yes, I do. You Christian? He says he believes in Jesus, okay? Yes, I am. Okay, so what... And hear this, if somebody says that they believe in Jesus, you still don't know fully if they believe the gospel yet. You still need to hear a little bit more to know if they understand the gospel. Proves your Christianity. Um, because that He says, what proves your Christianity? Okay, let's see what he's going to say. And I think he's just naive, folks. I think he's just naive. I believe in my heart and I confess with that mouth that I know that Jesus Christ is my Lord. Okay, so he says he believes in his heart, which that actually does save you. Believing in your heart, in the gospel truth. That does save you. Confessing doesn't actually save you. But I was confused about that myself too, as a babe in Christ. Confession doesn't save you. But a lot of churches teach that. And so I get why so many people are confused about it. Confession, you know, the people who can't speak, they're still saved, even though they don't confess their faith. They're still saved. Okay, do you know, do you know, do you know that the, do you know, you can, you believe in Jesus, right? Amen. He's about to say, do, do you, do you, do you, do you know that the demons believe? Do you know that the demons believe? Yeah. You know demons also believe in Jesus? <laughs> no, no, stop it. These people are like, what, what is, what is the word? They're like broken records. It's like pre-recorded messages that they're just ready to say at a certain response. Oh, I believe in Jesus in my heart. Do, do, do you know that the demons believe? Do you know that the demons believe? Do. You know, do you but believe do you he died? Demons tremble at the name of Jesus. Do you tremble at the name of Jesus? No, I do not because I'm not a demon. Okay. <laughs> I have another question. Do exactly. You, I mean, look, look. Ooh, that's a good point. They always say, do you, do, do you know that the demons believe in it? We're not demons. We're not demons. Demons can't be saved. I hate that stupid response. The demons can't be saved. That's the difference. And they don't trust on Jesus Christ for salvation. They can't be saved, number one. Number two, they don't even believe in the gospel. They don't trust on Christ for salvation. So number one, they can't be saved. Number two, they believe in Jesus, that he exists. They, they know he's God, but they don't trust in him for salvation. So this is a dumb moot argument that people always, do you know what the demons believe? I was like, all these street preachers always say that. The Apollos and this guy and just so many street preachers say that. Do you believe that Jesus was crucified? Yes, I do. Do you believe he rose? He, he believed Jesus was crucified. Amen. Okay. Yes, he did. He believed in the resurrection. This is what I think he said, bro. This is what I think he said. Sure do demons also believe that? Uh, they probably do. Okay, because they were there, right? Right, there we go. Okay, so what, what makes you different than them? Um, <sighs> This condemning fool. Because I... And he's naive. He doesn't really know how to respond to this. I, I, I feel for him. I feel for him. My heart goes out to this guy. Was a believer. I know my word. I confess with my mouth. But Satan knows the word too. He sure does. But guess what? Does he go and follow the word? No, he does not. Okay. Therefore. Okay. Are you following the word? Yes, I am. Okay. I, I, I have a See, he doesn't know how to respond. He's just kind of like going on autopilot now, just going by what churches probably told him. It's basically like this wolf out here is condemning all these people. And he knows more than the people know. And basically abusing his knowledge and condemning folks and getting people to try to explain how they believe. And they, they're not knowledgeable in the word of God. And it's just, 
it's just bad. Question for you. Yeah. Honest, you can have open heart. Uh -huh. What are you doing here? Um, I'm here turning up with my cousins. We in Chicago. We from Chicago. Yeah. Okay. We turn okay. You know the you know problem the problem with this this. What is it? Okay. Yeah. You know the Bible says this. If you if you love the world, you're enemy of God. You know what loving the world means? He he said if you love the world, you're not an enemy of God. No, it says you're enemy of God. That's what the Bible says. You gotta give me the. Give it doesn't mean you're not saved, though. All these scriptures are not salvation scriptures. If you love things in the world, it does not mean you're not saved. To love God, you need to keep his commandments. Keeping commandments doesn't get you saved. That's just how you love God. You love God by keeping the commandments. When you're breaking the commandments, you're putting your love into the world more than God. You're loving the world more than God. It doesn't mean you're unsaved. That just means you're loving the world more than God. And by loving God, that doesn't save you. These people just don't understand that all these scriptures are not salvation scriptures. They always make scriptures, every single scripture that's a warning, a salvation scripture. Oh, you love the world. You like things in the world. That means you're going to hell. Oh, you're not keeping the commandments. And that means you don't love God. And that means you're going to hell. Every scripture is not a salvation scripture. That's how it is. Give me the scripture. Okay, I'll give it to you right now. Say, give me okay, the scripture. Me. Come on, why we go to the club? Say, give me the scripture. So you're going to the club? <laughs> yes, I'm going to All the right, club. All right, I'll follow you. They had a party. It's probably going to be like that 14 year old kid I reviewed earlier. Oh, you're not safe going to the club. Party. They had a dinner. They had a banquet with Jesus. Yeah. And they drunk wine. They just didn't get drunk. Do you think Jesus, do you think Jesus partic participated in that? Yes, he did. Okay, every single but time. He did drink wine, but he didn't get drunk. He turned water into wine. God is good. Yeah, can't tell. I was shot. He's speaking in tongues. Oh, man. Oh, man. This guy's funny. He just seems like a super naive dude that could be saved. He could be saved. I don't know. He could be saved, though. He believed in Jesus' crucifixion. He believed in Jesus' resurrection. He knows that it takes belief to be saved. So those are all green flags that this guy could very well be saved. So you're speaking in tongues? I pray. I pray. Okay. I know. What are you going to go do at the club? Turn water into wine? No, I'm going to dance with my cousins. Where and all the worldly now. people are? God, John 16 and 12. All right, so now we're back to where we were before. All right, so here's another interaction that I want to go over. I want to let you know that you are not rejected. God is willing to accept you rejected. as you are. But as you are, but, but you can't be living like the world and be saved. You repent of your sins and receive them. I, I, I'm, I'm saved already. I don't care about you. Do you know what it means, you know what it means to be all, saved? Yes, I okay, I don't know this guy saved. I honestly don't. I think a lot of people say they're saved. A lot of people say and they're not really saved. So who knows if this guy's saved? But regardless, this guy's a heretic and preaching a false gospel. I do. That means don't listen to rhetoric. So I want to say this. Yeah. Of course, I know Jesus loves me. He doesn't condemn me for my sin or anything. Because one, I'm not even sinning right now. I'm just walking around. I'm not drunk. I'm not high. I'm not doing anything of the sort. So for me, a fellow Christian asking me. So if this guy wasn't hugging up on this guy right here, you can obviously tell it's a um, LGB relationship. If he wasn't in that relationship, he would not be sinning just by walking around the clubs. It's not a sin. But LGB is a sin, just being straightforward, honest. It is a sin. But if he wasn't hugging up on this guy, and I think they're in a relationship together, I don't want to assume, but, but it very well looked like they were. You, what brings you out here into the pits of hell, the pits of sinners, and, and ask you to re repent for them? Because the, the, the Bible says to be a light in dark places. It's a picture, come on. <laughs> what? What? What is going on? The Bible says, that Jesus spoke. I'm a false prophet. Oh, he called his man a false. He was right about. He is right about that, saints. He is a false prophet preaching repentance. And you can't live like the world and be saved. Yeah, the guy is right. Honestly, this is so ironic. These people who are living a lifestyle of sin are actually right and calling out these people as heretics. It's so ironic. This just reminds me of the scripture. God uses the foolish things of this world to confound the wise. <laughs> Using literal people, LGB, living in sin. You can tell they're living a lifestyle sin, if you want to call it that. You can tell if you're in the LGB, you are heavy in sin. That just is what it is. But this guy who's in the LGB, it literally told this guy and was right. He is a false prophet. And he is. He is a false prophet. What makes me a false prophet? Because you are out here judging people. Righteously judging, warning. Yeah, he is. And he's right. He's judging unrighteous judgment because this guy himself is still in sin. 
And he's literally sitting by preaching a false gospel. And correcting. No, you're judging. Are you out here? And what are you out here for? Because of you're in the gay area. Okay. There's some homosexual. Let me go and say it. The homosexual area. Do you agree with homosexuality? Were you homosexual at one point? No. Do you agree with homosexuality? So you're supposed to be straight? Romans 3.24, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Romans 3.28, therefore we conclude that a man is justified by faith without deeds of the law. We're not saved by how we live or what we do or what we don't do. We're saved freely. We're justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. So this guy is a goat. He is a false prophet. He is a heretic. And hallelujah, that God used the foolish things of this world to confound the wise man. This guy doesn't even know how much hypocrisy he is in. And get ready, saints, for this month because there's going to be so much more of it, so much more of it. And I'm probably going to cover multiple videos of other false prophets, other goats, other heretics condemning the world, which we're not called to do. May the Lord keep you. May he shine his face upon you always. May he continually bless you always. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen.